beloved i thank you so much for your time and i thank you for joining me on the prophetic vessel show this will be your message from god ra allah source the divine i'm grateful for your time to those who are keen or interested in becoming members of my patreon on my patreon i do offer weekly sign readings for ten dollars per month based on love as well as spiritual path i also offer on my patreon personal readings for fifty dollars per month you get a personal reading from me every month based on love spiritual path career and finances as well as ancestral messages the link to my patreon will be listed in my description box below you can also join my patreon by typing what is on the screen via google search it and it'll lead you to my patreon website without further ado let us tap in and find out why were you spiritually led here what is here for you beloved why did you resonate with the title and why did your own youtube algorithm present you with this message let us tap in and talk to god okay so i'm channeling here right the energy of a fairy at your window so there's a fairy at your window when you are asleep and when you rise and wake up in the morning. There's a fairy in your window. There's a fairy at your window, pardon me. When you are asleep at night and when you rise up and wake up in the morning. Okay, this is um, a fairy godmother energy, a fairy godfather energy. Okay. So this is an elderly who has passed on, who's watching over you. Okay, that is what I'm channeling. Let's tap into the message and see what this is about. So this fairy godmother, fairy godfather energy has something that you need at this time. Um, and what this is with regards to is based on ancestry lineage. It's based on DNA, it's based on bloodline energy, right? This specific ancestor who is taking form as a fairy godmother, fairy godfather, the protector of you, has something you need at this time, right? They no longer want to withhold it from you. They are full of pentacles, Capricorn energy. They no longer want you to not have it. Um, it's not that they were withholding it from you as a delay, but it was like, this is a, this is something that because you need it, it needs to be given to you at the correct time. Okay. So I am seeing jewelry here. I'm seeing herbs as well. I'm seeing crystals. I'm seeing water. I'm seeing candles. Okay, I'm seeing feathers, white specifically. I'm seeing fruits. I'm seeing plants. Okay, so those are all forms of ways that this fairy god mother, fairy god father energy connects with you. Those are all the ways they connect with you. We have the nine of pentacles reversed, and being able to take it upright. So yes, this specific fairy god. This specific fairy god has been in your reality for nine weeks, okay, with the nine of pentacles energy. Um, you've been experiencing them and they've been experiencing you all in different forms, all in different ways, right? We have Virgo energy here. Yeah. To this fairy god, this fairy god views you as very cleansed, right? Very cleansed energy, um, grounded and rooted in yourself, right? Cleansed. Okay. Yeah. This fairy god chose you. 
to give this to and this fairy god chose to come in this form in your life to protect you um as well right so you have an ancestor that really loves you here um they hold their name holds spiritual weight that is very high ranking right because this is a high ranking fairy god this is a high ranking ancestor right we have the two of wands here yeah i am seeing that this fairy god um has reached the level of high ranking that like the power that is in their name they want to give it to you so the power they hold in the spirit is the power they're going to give to you you hold it in the physical so your the, the weight of your name is becoming heavier in the physical yeah it's like it goes from them having it to giving it to you so this is a fairy god that's willing to take away from themselves to give to you you know they're willing to give you their last or give you anything that you need and want you know they protect you and there's a lot of love energy as well Yeah, this fairy god energy here is everything that is spoken when it comes to you, everything that is done when it comes to you, whoever's involved, where they're at, how they're doing it. They have all those little details, right, about whatever jealousy might hover over your name or hatred or envy or bitterness or anger or rage or obsession. Like, they know every negative force that works against you, okay? And they deal with it every day because they chose to do that for you. They love you that much. You know, they deal with it every day. Imagine having to protect yourself from something every day, having to fight every day. This is a warrior fairy god, mother fairy god, father. They are warrior spirit. They are a warrior spirit guide. Okay, they are a warrior spirit guide. Who would do anything for you and we have the knights of wands so it's not like they temporarily in your life they are in your life like this is a forever contract they've signed here in your name we have scorpio energy we have triple aries energy triple leo energy double sagittarius energy libra energy okay did I say Scorpio energy? There's Scorpio energy here as well. So this ancestor here, the way in which they connect with you, I've listed all the ways that they find a connection or form a connection with you. Take so take it how it resonates. They want you to do that more often. However you connect with them, they want you to do it more often. You know how you connect with them. You know what that means to you. So use that, okay? They're here for you, okay? Um, you can ask questions, you can seek guidance, okay? You can vent, you can cry, anything really. They'll be there. We have the will of fortune reversed here, okay? So with that being said, this specific ancestor has been fighting the same spirit of a person for far too long in your defense, meaning that there's been somebody continuously attacking you every single day in repetition, in continuously energy, constantly. Like this person has never given up from attacking you. They do this daily. And your ancestor being the one that protects you in this way they have to deal with this. They have to deal with this person and they're sick of it. Like they've become sick of it. They're sick of somebody constantly attacking your energy. They're sick of somebody constantly trying to be in your energetic sphere to benefit from you in a specific spiritual way. Like whoever's doing this 
and has been doing this for a long time, a while. It's sickening and disgusting because they're literally trying to steal what's yours. See, the same weight that your name holds in the spirit, they want to do a spiritual transfer. They want to house the energy of having your spiritual rank. This person wanted your spiritual inheritance in this way. They wanted to take on your energy in this way. So this is a fox spirit of a person. Dark. Satanic. Demonic possession. Or demonic possess. It's like this person. They're in the state of being of like. Because you have that power, then you should know what comes with it. It's like they want to justify coming after you and attacking you spiritually by saying that. That like, since you are in that position, then take what comes with it. The position of having high spiritual ranking and holding a heavyweight name in the spirit realm and you know, having this level of spiritual inheritance in your reality, they want you to take it. Yeah, deal with it. Of course, you you have this to your name, right? So deal with it. Of course, there's going to be vouchers like me, snakes like me, hungry for what you got. Deal with it. Like, this is this person's energy. They're coming through in this way. Like, this person's like, so what that I'm trying to do this or I've been doing this. And that's why they're not stopping because they're like, deal with it. They feel like it's hitting you, you just maintaining it or maintaining your protection. And they don't know the whole time you don't experience nothing that's in your way that's being fought from. It's being fought to leave your energetic sphere before it even enters. It's like this specific ancestor works outside of your energetic sphere. To prevent anything, anyone from penetrating your energetic sphere that you are not meant to experience that, right? So whatever is not meant to enter energetic sphere or whoever, they make sure of that to prevent you from experiencing things that are not a part of your destiny like this. They thinking they doing it every day is affecting you constantly to protect yourself, but no, you're protected and you're not being touched by anything. They're doing this, thinking something, or thinking about it in a specific way, but that's not even the reality or the truth of it. They're like, oh, you gotta defend yourself, you gotta keep protecting yourself from me, I'm gonna continuously do this and be your worst nightmare since you wanna be a star and you wanna shine brighter than everybody, well, here it is. Like, this person here is very strange. We have the Nine of Wands. Meanwhile, they will never even be able to face you even if they had the opportunity, right, to be in your energy. We have Taurus energy with the Seven of Pentacles, quadruple Leo energy with the strength reversed here, and you have um, triple Sagittarius energy with the Nine of Wands. This person will never, ever, ever face you. Like, they'll never, oh, they'll be doing is throwing hands in the spirit realm for these spiritual attacks, these spiritual battles and warfare. That's all they're good at. <laughs> this person is good at casting and conjuring and doing all types of things. We have the six of cups here. So, okay, we have the knights of cups. This person, they want to, it's like, they want to disconnect you from yourself. Like, they try to disconnect you from yourself so that you don't reach your destiny. This was a form of a weapon against you, right? To disconnect you from yourself 
when you're disconnected from yourself you're disconnected from everything that has to do with you i am channeling that this woman has done so much of this right in different ways like this woman has been heavily playing in the spirit like heavily playing in the spirit to the point where they're it's like they wish they never did we have the eight of pentacles reversed like they wish they never put in all this work in the spirit they wish they never made all these efforts because this person's waking up to con continuously see you in a certain energy that is not the energy they want you to be in like they want you to be in a specific energy of horror and pain when you are in the energy of contentment and unbotheredness and that irks them makes this person feel like What were they even doing attacking you? Because since nothing is happening to you, something is happening to them. Because when they send this energy out, it had to enter your energetic sphere and stay there. But don't forget it's being returned to where it came from as a form of protection from your ancestors. God given permission, God given power from for your ancestor to be able to do this to fight on your behalf, your spiritual battles, your spiritual warfare. So your ancestor sent it back to where it came from and this person can't protect themselves from something that is their own creation. It's their creation. They can't block their own creation from returning to them when it's a part of them already. They were just hoping that they send this part of them into your world they, they sent that energy, they wanted this for you. Disconnecting from yourself is like, it was their biggest mission, disconnecting you from yourself. Like, they were literally casting, conjuring all types of ways and things to make sure that this happens. Like, this is definitely a witch energy. A dark spirited energy. This is definitely um the devil energy. A satanic possessed demonic person. Like they problem with you has taken over their life in this way. Because they spend so much time trying to attack your destiny by enabling you to lose the connection you have with yourself. The Hermit to the Seven of Pentacles, like, really? That's really, really crazy and very evil. They wanted you to abandon yourself. Like, all of a sudden, things in your life are no longer the same because you are not. You can't do what you usually do do with the same energy, the same passion, the same anything. And therefore you lose that alignment of self. And where does your alignment go? Your true, true, true energy, your balance, your justice. Where does that go? They wanted it for themselves. Because the more you disconnect from yourself, the more they rise with your spiritual currency. Someone is evil here. This person, they'd rather die than see you win. Well, I guess they're dying. Or they dead already. This person here has a big problem. And they need to take it up with themselves. It's time that they take it up with themselves and stop projecting onto you. Because this person projects so much onto you. They'll blame you for things that you don't even have anything to do with you could know this person you could not know this person like this person is just crazy and weird and strange here they have a problem they have some form of sickness attached to their mind this this person ain't right we have the ten of swords all this person ever wanted was to end you 
now to have to watch you keep rising up every day and be in the energy of alignment when they wanted to make sure that you don't have that balance this person i don't see them being able to live with it <laughs> this person is losing themselves the same thing they wanted to happen to you is happening to them as the adverse effect the backfire the revert energy yeah and they're going to watch themselves lose themselves remembering what they wanted for you like you send that energy out when it comes back into your life live with it deal with it you wanted somebody else to lose themselves to go through this and that you go through it and see if you can it's like you wanted to put another put they wanted to put you in a hell that's not your energy what the hell that's not your domain that's not your fate that's not a part of your destiny you ain't never did anything to deserve that. You didn't even do anything to this person. I'm seeing that you're innocent. They were cubs. What the hell? This is somebody that's really sick then. Sick in the mind, twisted, and just all downright, just, man, weird. You didn't do anything to this person. They coming at you because of their own things. They demons can take your shine your light your identity your presence on earth they're demons this person has big demons but it's the very same demons that are taking them to, taking this person to hell they're going to hell and they're gonna live there them seeing you win and still be good that's their hell and they're gonna have to live it till thy kingdom come for our energy forever I'm seeing that you don't owe them anything they came into your spiritual field they came into your energetic sphere they tried to penetrate you in that way whose problem is that it's like it's like a bully bullying somebody are you gonna blame the person that they bully Like, why do bullies even bully? Like, they have serious issues within themselves. We all know this. This is a spiritual bully. So they're going to get spiritually jailed. They won't be able to do anything anymore. They thinking it's working on you. You're hiding it. Well, nothing is working on you here. I'm seeing, like, nothing is touching you here. This person... Is literally living a lie like they thinking things are happening to you in your home in your life your world your reality man you good you're super good we have the seven of wands reverse disconnecting you from yourself was going to put them in a position to be able to easily steal your spiritual inheritance and have what is meant for you, your wands. Have what is meant for you, keep it in their world, in their reality, and you not being able to figure out why your life never fell into place. But it's because of their theft, right? It's because of what they wanted to keep you in. It's because of what they wanted to do to you. Imagine somebody that evil wanting you to experience life like that. Taking from you and then living off of your energy. You think people like, people be watching and wanting other people's lives. Guys, be careful out here. Like, be careful who you let in your energy. Be careful who you allow into your life. Be careful who you talk to. All right, because you are one of a kind person here, and your world, your reality is literally parallel to that. The fact that you are one of a kind, your world, your reality, your life will be one of a kind as well. So, anyone that experiences that, if anyone that experiences your portal of reality, life, and world. Anyone that sees how you live, they either want that for themselves or they're inspired, nothing in between. 
So that's what I'm saying. Reevaluate who's around you in that way. Because you never know, man. People be looking at people's lives and wanting to live it. This is that person here. One of them here. Because I'm seeing they're also one of many. They're one of many in your life. Like, you have people of the past. People you don't know. People in the prison. Like, you have people that have been wanting your identity to love it. <laughs> You have the identity card. They've been wanting your identity, forcibly wanting your identity. You have been followed by that in your life. The people want to be a doppelganger of you. They want to live as you. They want your reality and everything that comes with it. But they always, always lose that battle, lose that fight, lose that warfare of coming at you in that way because there is already a you living your life why does another person want to freaking change that like what's wrong with people you look at someone you're like i want to live their life for them it's their life what the hell is your sick ass doing like this person been sick like it stayed karma to go through everything that they're about to go through here their life is going to take a turn not for the better, but for the worse. Because it's common here, we have justice. They need to go through this. It's their karmic debts, they owe this. They, they played with certain energies and now they need to pay for it. They need to pay for it. And they need to watch you continuously rise as they pay for it. Like they in hell for real they did all of this to make sure that you never reach a point of happiness this specific point in your life you were never meant to get there that was what they wanted so imagine what they're going through this person is in hell for a little bit like someone's in hell here you just can't take it but they have to live with it it's no one's problem but theirs they tried you they tried your life your world your reality like literally this is somebody that pictures themselves as yourself and puts themselves in situations as you in their mind like they travel in their mind and like oh this is how i would eat at a restaurant if i was them this is how i would drive if i was them this is where i would go this is what i would do if i was it's like what the hell is wrong with this person someone's sick here sick like this person literally fantasizes about being in this way and they go deep full of swords high priestess they dream actively daydream night dream meaning even when they're asleep they have these dreams they daydream even in the afternoon as well like their life revolves around your life because your life is the life they feel is a dream for them high priestess energy is like they shape shift like this person shape shifts into like different forms of themselves that have to do with living your life or you know being you like this person here uh -uh. like they go deep into a rabbit hole of what it would be like to live as you what it would be like to stand in your energy, what it would be like to have what you have, do what you do, be how you are. And it's so constant, it's so continuous, it's, it's a common theme for them. They do this daily, frequently and daily. We have the Queen of Pentacles. So you're being called to rejoice in gratitude and literally appreciate your life. You have someone out here, people, several people, this is not the only one. Several people out here offer your life because to them it's a dream. God is saying rejoice and be grateful for your life because it is a dream. Not because it's a dream to them, but because it's a dream in general. I'm seeing fairy tale energy or happy happily ever after energy. You know, in the end, you win energy, you get the lost love energy. I'm just seeing, like, you know, he who laughs, um, laughs will last. Well, he who, it's like 
bringing the race energy he who loves first will love lost he who loves lost will love first just like your time things are finally happening for you and this person here unfortunately they have to live with the fact that things are finally happening for you regardless of what they try to do to stop everything from happening mm. i thank you so much for joining me on the prophetic vessel show okay to those who are keen or interested in becoming um members of my patreon on my patreon i do offer weekly sign readings for ten dollars per month based on love as well as spiritual path i also offer on my patreon personal readings for fifty dollars per month you get a personal reading from me every month based on love spiritual path career and finances, as well as ancestral messages. The link to my Patreon will be listed in my description box below. You can also join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google. Search it, and it will lead you to my Patreon website. I thank you all for everything, and I will see you all soon. Goodbye.